And we are live, apparently, live, live, live. Now, then, obviously, my little YouTube business around the back end there doesn't actually show anything. It, <laughs> it's supposed to tell me a whole bunch of information, which obviously it's not. So, then, let me know in chat if we're live and if we are going and doing what we should be doing, because hopefully that's the case. <laughs> I'm not seeing any movement in chat. Which is a bit worrying. Oh, there we go then. Doug's in there. Doug's in. How are you doing, Doug? <coughs> the makeup department did a wonderful job. Absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> um, Ian Vape Stevens are my favorite UK valuer. Valor? Valor? I'm going to go with Vapor. So thank you very much indeed. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Say some hellos, shall we, to start with. Let, let, let's kick off while people join in and all that sort of stuff by saying some hi and how's you doing. So what have we got there? Martin, hello. Good to see you. Christoph, hello. Team AVZ, Peters Pipe, Schwartzy, Phil V, Mick Blizzard, Wayne Morris, Daniel Wright, D4V3, Mark J, Chris, Christoph Balls, um, UK Vapester, Gareth Martin, John Shepherd, Liam Shepherd. Are you are you are you related? John and Liam Shepherd. Are you related? <laughs> um, Team AVZ uh, said hello to you already. Mystics, thanks very much indeed. Um, Arjan, 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 Arjan Dehan. Um, good evening. Good uh, here. Look, rather than keep looking all the way over that way, if I move my chat over that way. It looks like I'm being a little bit more social and I can kind of do that instead of everything else. Anyway, what else have we got? Who else have we got to say? Ben B. Vapes, Ryan Vapes, Mark J. Hello to you. Bijou, compact and bijou. Compact? No. Um, bijou, good evening. Um, scary cartoons. Oh, I like the sound of that. Do you do scary cartoons? Is that, what, is that a YouTube channel? I think I'll have to check that out if that is the case. Um, what else have we got? Richard, boo, boo to you as well josh viana um hello dean from the states hello josh thank you very much for joining me don't know what time it is over there funny thing on uh, instagram posted i was going to do it nine o'clock uk uk time lots of people asked or a couple of people then sort of decided to ask me and send me uh, dms as to or pms whatever they are on instagram <laughs> asking what time it was in their own country can't help you google you know uh, um what else have we got oh our church or church uh jan oh, oh i'm gonna fuck that name right up jan ove alto christian christiansen i think thank you very much sorry for messing up your name royally um who else have we got mr roy oh christ i can't keep up with everyone today it's going crazy um what else we got mr roy ricky wetton brian etris corgeth hello sir how you doing things are hanging to the left and a little bit sticky thank you very much indeed ryan sadik hello nice to see you louisa loves nails hello louisa um gert jan laridan hello how you doing garrett de bear uh hello how are you liam shepherd uh you're not related okay good to know if it's just on top of each other it was a funny old thing uh, <laughs> lynn smith good evening lynn how you doing um rob no fry robbie no fry rob robbie why, why? hello uh, <laughs> cuckoo coils Stephen niven Phil V, where can I get an authentic HSith RDA in the US? I would have a look at my HSith review. Oh, no, wait. I haven't done one because I haven't got one, so I can't help you. Sorry. <laughs> um, Alistair Patterson, evening. How are you doing? Paolo Caravallo, hi from Portugal. You, Your country is currently hosting Mr. Mark Todd, so it's unlikely we're going to get a pop-in from Mr. Todd this evening. So I apologise to all of uh, all of the Big T's friends and, uh, and followers because uh, I know he does pop up on here from time to time. But no sign of him tonight, I'm afraid. So um, can't help you with that one. Now then, uh, what else have we got? Brad Palmer, hi. Corpus de... Oh, there's a lot of you. There's a lot of you coming in there. Sorry if I'm going to miss you out. I'm just going to try and sort of pick a couple of people. Daniel has uh, vaping in Spain. Uh, Werner is from Germany, I think. I think something <laughs> he's just said he's about his contact is it he i don't have see or see i don't want to be sexist on this one bijou has just said that they are about as compact as i am <laughs> so compact and bijou is not uh is not in the vocabulary uh, right then so 
I think we've got a few people watching now. I think we've got a few people watching, haven't we? Um, I think if I'm going to do that, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let me, let me know what. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we're as quite as busy as we have been in the past, but that's entirely reasonable. I'm okay with that one. Um, thank you very much. If you can hit the thumbs up as OR Church or R has uh, suggested, that would be very nice indeed. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Schwartzy, apologies to Portugal as well. Fabio, Mr. Todd, he's just going to be a sweaty lardy scotsman isn't he it's <laughs> i want to know if 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 todd's going to come back and he's just going to be a bright red lobster because he's he's done the scottish thing and gone nah fuck it i'm not wearing sun cream i'm hard <laughs> i like that one um daniel right you have to come on with game of thrones to start never watched game of thrones never seen it don't have a clue about any of it i know it's supposed to be great with boobs and dragons and stuff but uh no i have no idea um what else have we got is there any i will try and come back to saying hello to a bunch of people and i can see that some people are asking questions um already so what i want to do is um just to let you know like i do ordinarily when i do these kind of vlogs i like to do sort of my normal vlog because this is going to be up for a while it's not just a q a just to show you a few bits and bobs tell you what's been coming in and all that sort of stuff so at that point i may um be sort of neglecting the chat so i apologize if you ask a question and uh, nothing comes up now i do know that there is this kind of um super chat thing now we've talked about it before i think but I don't know what it means in the grand scheme of things. I think it means that if, you, if you're so inclined, you can sort of put a donation across to the channel and that Super Chat will come up and uh, um, kind of make itself more obvious to me. I've got two chat windows. I've got the live chat and the Super Chat window open, but nothing on there, so I don't really know. But there you go. So if you do want to contribute to the channel, you can do through that and that will help make sure that I do see your uh, your comment while I'm in the kind of the vloggy bit of the uh, of this stream. Should we say that? Let's say stream. I just whenever I say stream, I just can't stop thinking of we. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Reese says, oh, I can't talk. I need to get my teeth in. Uh, Reese says, Sod the QA, uh, just do the, or oh, Sod the vlog, do the QA. I'd love to, but the main reason for doing this is I've been working on a couple of things today. So um, I've been working on my website a little bit because there's been a few challenges with that. So I've been trying to make that a little bit more user friendly. And it just I'm surprised I've got any beard hair or head hair because it's been so frustrating because I'm not a web person. I'm learning as I'm going. And it's uh, it's just a super pain in the dick. It really is. So that's uh, that's been a thing. I've also recorded some stuff for the raffle, which is going to go out tomorrow. And I'm really excited about it. Some marvelous, marvelous prizes. Now, it is to go towards a very, very good cause indeed, and it is dog-related, uh, so it's very, very close to my heart. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely going to be happening. Uh, but that's, that will be out tomorrow. So there's been bits and bobs. But anyway, I've been doing stuff today, which has meant... Oh, I got a review out today. Yay, finally. <laughs> which has meant that... Uh, I've not had the time to record and then edit and then upload a normal vlog. So we're going about it in this kind of in this kind of format just for today. So let's crack into the vlog. And like I say, we will uh, we will I will get to the normal sort of questions and answers and paying attention on on chat and stuff a little bit later on. We'll probably bang through this. There's not too much to go through tonight. So we'll uh, we'll get through to that one. If anybody seems someone being a prick in chat, then uh, it'll be great if you could let me know. That would be super. Um, but uh, but uh, just means I can get rid of them then because I'm like that. <laughs> now then, what's been going on? So a few of you may have seen that in the UK, I was on the one show, albeit for about three seconds. Um, that happened last Thursday and there was a chat or there was a, a, a discussion or a con con conversation. So we say that the idea was a conversation where they were going to go and look at um, British American tobacco and look at some of the stuff they're doing and then look at uh, regulation changes for vaping and how that's kind of interacted with vaping. And also for me to have a discussion with a scientist chap who's a little bit concerned and wants more. Uh, he's not against vaping, but 
but he wants more study to be done on the long-term effects of vaping, which you can kind of get. But, you know, unfortunately, it does seem to be sort of neglecting some of the studies that have already been done. Um, now, as a result of that, um, they took 45 minutes of footage with uh, with me and me and the uh, the scientist chap. And uh, yeah, they used four seconds. So <laughs> that was splendid. Um, I've got a little bit of footage. I couldn't use any footage of the recording because the uh, the interviewer um, didn't or didn't give me permission to use his uh, his voice in the uh, in the in the in my my stuff so my vlog um so that was a bit frustrating but it is what it is i did get a little interview with the uh the the, the guy that filmed it um and i may pop that in a little video maybe a little bit later in the week if i've got a few minutes just to throw that up uh just as a little bit of information because i've seen a lot of feedback saying that it was just another kind of hate campaign against vaping i honestly believe that the original plan was it for not not to be that sort of case you know i originally think that it was meant to be sort of a little bit more productive than it ended up being because unfortunately it did seem to be kind of a very negative um let's just throw some uh, some sort of generic shit at the wall that the, the media has and uh, and we'll see if anything sticks which was is, is a bit of a shame to be honest with you and and that was a bit saddening but i tried and i think that it's one of those things you have to try when these things come come up Odds are they're going to be shit, but you have to give it a go just on the off chance that someone might like to uh, offer vaping in a in a in a in a realistic and kind of knowledgeable level light. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Kind of. You know where I'm going, huh? Um, yeah. So I'd hoped it was going to be better than it was. It wasn't. Can't help you. So, <laughs> but we had a go. <laughs> God loves a trier. Not that I'm religious, but there you go um so yeah so that happened that was a thing and uh and uh yeah that was uh it took me four hours to drive down to southampton um we had the 45 minute interview after a lot of waiting around and fannying about we then went to the southampton vaping center which was uh was very very nice got to meet ian and a, a bunch of guys there which was very very cool indeed um but then uh, a nice four and a half hour journey to come back again um all for free bar the uh i'm hoping to get the the petrol money back though so you know <laughs> we tried we tried now then um let's have a little look else a few other people i'm not going to get into this one because um it's a little bit emotional a little bit raw at the moment a lot of people asked about dizzy um dizzy is very very unwell at the moment she's still with a specialist over uh, in in newmarket for those of you in the uk um and we've not had a knife for uh, coming up to two weeks, and she's a very poorly pooch indeed. We were able to go and see her on Saturday, which is very, very good indeed. But uh, no, she's uh, she's she's not a well bunny. So uh, yeah, as far as our little spaniel goes, she's not home with us. And um, just send some positive vibes, you know. Just just if you can do that, that'd be great. That would be great. Thank you very much indeed. Now then, updates, updates on just a couple of little uh, bits in uh, in life here. I did tell you before about the penguin. We have this uh, penguin situation going on here. Um, this was sent to me by TECC.co.uk, uh, I think it is. Um, and yes, it is. And yeah, it's a hell of a thing. A lot of people have been enjoying the fuck out of this mod. And I do not, I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. I do not understand it. Now, I've taken the bung out. So we've gone from the two mil through to um, the full the full eight mil i think uh capacity this is the 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 direct lung um coil that's in here at the moment i did have the mouth to lung coil in here but that was the, that was still just a very restricted lung hit now while you can to cover your your thumb over the uh, over the air hole which is can you see it that kind of hole just kicking around just about there well you can cover that up a little bit to tighten the drawer a bit obviously you, the coil's still going to be getting fucking hot so you need that airflow to go through the coil to keep it cool to stop things burning in my opinion and uh, and this just doesn't do it. Now, um, let's have a little toot on here, shall we? Flavor is average. Um, lung hit is very restricted. Um, I don't get it. 
so i mean I'm, this isn't going to get a full review and i told the company that i wasn't going to do a full review on this one um what i did say though was i would use it and i would let you guys know about my experience whilst i'm using it also it's fucking big when uh, i saw this i thought this was this was kind of quite a little dinky little thing but um if i compare it to uh sort of height wise to the minikin v2 there you can see you know with it's not small it's not small so yeah i mean i'm not i don't uh, i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it um it's just it's big it's unwieldy it holds a bunch of juice and the battery life is is very good on it um and i imagine it's very good because it doesn't um it doesn't go through juice hellishly quickly because you're not getting a huge amount from it but uh but no all in all I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not feeling it at all at the moment. But I will stick with it. I've only got the two coils, so I'm trying to interchange between the long one and the mouth to lung. Uh, mouth to lung. I'm trying to use the mouth to lung one and uh, and seeing what happens there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's an it's an interesting it's an interesting thing. Let's put it that way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change my chat for a second because. Um, I think I will get a better chat if I bin this window off and that one like that one. And then I pop that out, pop out chat, putting like so, like so. I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> right now. Wait, wait. Here we go. Back on it again. So um, just have a have a quick little look and see what's going on in the chat there. Oh, hey, is Mikey Vapes in the room? Is Mikey Vapes in the room? Hello, Mr. Vapes, if you are, sir. Oh, look at that. Look, he is. He is. Mike Vapes is in the room. Thank you very much for joining us this evening, Mike. Um, who else have we got? We've, we've had a, lo a load of people join. So I apologize if I've not... Uh, I've not... Um, said hello but like i said earlier at the start we'll do all the hellos and the uh, and the chat and the q and a's and all the good sort of good shit um a little bit later on i do just notice that somebody said about the goon and the oh no hang on at my oh hang on at vaping by crown motivation finally got the csm and CSS, cosmonaut um yes i've got the cosmonaut and i am rocking it on something oh here we go i'm rocking it on my drone at the moment and that's doing a uh, a bang up job and i have also got the uh, the goon 1.5 which i am rocking on the uh, the frost box uh series jobby at the moment so yeah they are still going for me um i'm sure mr mr vapes and mr mike is uh, far <laughs> far more organized than i am um anyway just flipping back for a moment yeah Sorry for the lack of content, guys, but I will uh, I will really push hard. But like I said, with the with the one show stuff, with the uh, with the expo, with uh, with Dizzy, um, it's just meant that I haven't been able to. But you guys understand that, I'm sure. Anyway, so we've had a look at the Penguin mod. Now we've also got this. I finally got the right adapter for the uh, Nightcore Sturry thingy um, today, and. Hmm. I can't, cannot, for the life of me, figure out how it works. I, I, I don't know. I've tried it. I've tried playing it. I've been, I've been pushing buttons and all sorts of things today. Can't figure out how it works. So I had a look at the instructions, and they're all in Mandarin or Chinese or whatever it is. So I don't understand a word. <laughs> so I have no idea what's going on. So I'm uh, I'm going to be scouting around YouTube to find out if someone else has done a a D decent how to make it work kind of situation I've, I've managed to get the little thing to spin round, but uh, and i've managed to kind of control well do something with the revolutions per minute but not at the same time <laughs> private placement that i shouldn't actually cover that up should i vaping biker mugs available at vapingbiker.co.uk <laughs> now then what else have we got so what am i vaping tonight i'm going to tell you about a few bits and bobs um that have come in recently which i'm pretty excited about and some i'm not so excited about but otherwise the things that i'm vaping on i have got um the vape x dream i've got it in tank mode at the minute those of you that have watched for a little while will remember that um i have got the squape um x dream um dripper and i've also got the tank section as well because you use the same deck in them and i've, I've 
what I used this, I used this when I went down to Southampton, and so I thought I'd stick it in tank mode and see how it goes. I've got that running on top of the paranormal DNA 75C running um, DJ LSB's uh, theme on there at the moment, so I'm giving that a good old go. Uh, Steam Island and Vape Geek, I think, both have these, um, the the both the paranormal and ethereum with the dna 75c um this hopefully won't be too far away uh I, it, it's i'm trying to figure out how much detail i need to go into with the board itself i have now finally treated myself to a a, a windows setup so i can uh, do things on windows as well not this this is all mac mac for life um but i have got a windows thing so i can do some bits and bobs with that one so i'll probably try and do a kind of an overview of the dna 75c but not go into too much detail purely because daniel dj lsb has done a fantastic job look out look someone's done a uh a, the 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 oh i got so excited i couldn't talk then the um the super chat uh delta q squared he has donated ten dollars thank you very much indeed read your piece on not reviewing a certain product we need more reviewers like you brutally honest um about what you think you helped me quit the counter sticks and i'm infinitely grateful thank you very much indeed that's a very very kind thing to say and uh, i do appreciate that i'll go into that article again in a moment um okay look l ashton's put put uh, 20 bucks in in there hey i'm getting all american eh? thank you so much it's uh it, it all does wonders for the channel it's uh i well i thank you thank you very much indeed al ashton you've not put a question there but uh, so there's nothing for me to read out but thank you very much indeed i appreciate it that's very kind now then um what else have we got going on I, I see the the one thing i like about the patreon thing i don't do patreon because personally i don't i i, I just I, it feels uneasy for me at the moment but uh but we'll have to we'll have to figure it out but um <clears throat> yeah i, I kind of want to uh, for the kind people that do throw something at the channel i kind of i do want to try and figure out something special but i don't know how to do that I'll work on that. Anyway, where was I? Um, what am I vaping on tonight? So what we've got is the uh, the Digi Flavor Wildfire Kit. Now, I've had this since Expo. Excuse me. Not looked, but there's probably half a million reviews out for this already. But uh, it's from Digi Flavor slash Gate Vape Go. <laughs> slash Vape Geek. Geek Vape. There we can fucking get there in the end, I tell you. <laughs> Geek Vape. Um, and I've got to say, for one of these little kind of dinky little setups, I bloody love this. I think this is brilliant. I think it's awesome. Um, it's got the clickiest. This, this thumb firing switch. Hang on. Do you hear that? It's the clickiest, most satisfying thumb firing switch I think I've ever used. Just, <laughs> I think it's only a 60 watt device. It's got this fucking horrible carbon fiber situation going on there, which uh, which it feels very real carbon fiber, to be honest with you. I do like the, the brushed stainless situation going on out the side of here. I think that's very, very good. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, otherwise, I'm just, I'm really enjoying this little setup. I'm thinking this is a cracking little thing. So yeah, all in all, I'm having a really good time with that. I have got this tiny other little tank and uh, this little setup as well with for them. And this is even smaller. This is the U-Box and it's dinky AF. It really, really is. Just a straight voltage jobby and uh, everyone's a winner. All Day Vapes just, vape, just uh, donated two pounds. Thank you very, very much indeed. I do appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. And uh, oh, oh, I, know, I know money doesn't mean that you love me, but oh. <laughs> thank you very much indeed i feel warm and cuddly um now then yeah this one is just straight uh, a straight voltage little little chappy and uh, it's not a bad little stealth kit if you want this kind of thing in your life to be honest with you i'll talk about them more once i've used them more but i did just want to show you this because because that fire button that's just i love it i love it i want that on more mods immediately <laughs> um i can see people are, are just writing numbers in uh, in <laughs> in the thing um whoever's donated if you can let people know how that happens i think you press on a dollar sign or 
a money site. I don't really know how it works. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm a rubbish YouTuber, aren't I? <laughs> but it's there somehow. I don't know. Anyway, um, what else have we got? What else have we got? Juices that I'm vaping on today. Um, and we then we'll go on to the new stuff. Juices, I'm using toot and fruit. No, toot and juice. Humdinger, which is a kind of a, uh, like a humbug kind of affair. If you like your boiled sweets, that's rather nice. I'm enjoying that quite a lot. I've got some Wicklicker Deja Voodoo. I've liked this juice for a long, long time. I know you can't see that. It was blown out with the light. Absolutely. But uh, Deja Voodoo, this is the, uh, the sort of the one one shot i can't remember exactly what they call it but it's very very nice indeed um i've also rocking some turkish blend um from m turk oh oh look at that look got that from uh, m turk um at expo at expo um so uh, i'm having a go on that don't ask me where it comes from in the uk because i have absolutely no idea uh, I'll, I'll try and find out though if people are interested um what else have we got oh um we're also rocking some cerberus the custard from dark star which i still think is fucking glorious i think it's absolutely lovely and i have obviously got some offended by fenders v2 which you can still see on the uh, on the old um eliquidrecipes.com website if you want to mix it yourself um i don't know whether there'd be a call for me to see about getting a one shot kind of premix made i don't i don't really know if that's a thing to be honest with you i don't know if that's something that people would be interested in. let me know let me know what you think um but uh but what else have we got going on here uh someone's just said according to Pe bijou just said according to people Sado evolver working on a mac compatible version of eScribe software ah now then one of the things ah ah <laughs> one of the things that when we do the dna 75c um uh videos we'll hopefully have some quite interesting stuff i totally can't tell you what i'm trying to do but it'll be good it'll be good and hopefully jolly useful anyway so that uh, is only on pc that you can donate no i don't think it is dominic but i think you may have to um have a google account i don't know i, do, I think you have to be signed in for that I don't, well, I don't know i guess you're signed in anyway i don't know how it works don't know i'm sure one of the uh, very nice people that have done the super chat already will be able to let someone know there you go there's a pound a dollar sign next to the emoji icon if you're looking at this on a pc that might be there if you're looking at it should be there if you're looking at it on a mac because it's it's you know if you're going through google chrome it's still google chrome to make any difference what you're looking at on essentially one would think but there we go now then uh, uh, whew, that was a <laughs> Where do you think I 28 minutes? Fuck me. Okay, so before we go on to the next section, let's have a little look at a few of the comments going on there. Um ba -da -ba -da boo. Um, I'd try your recipe as a one shot. Haven't got all the flavors at the moment though. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. Whoop, look out, look, Kevin Stallion's just donated a tenner. Well, bugger me. Thank you very much, Kevin. That's very, very kind of you. Unregulated box in series, question mark, can you recommend? Um, there well, I can only talk about the ones that I've got for unregulated and uh unregulated series box if you want something that's that's um kind of got a little bit of uh, mosfet protection there and not fully mechanical which is i guess you're looking for um when you're saying about having it in uh, as unregulated then the frost box is very very good indeed i've been having a jolly good time with that i didn't think i was gonna like this re i mean it's a it's a hammond box it's well finished it's got a really nice um it's got a really nice coating on it but i didn't think i was gonna like this old school plus style button to be honest with you as it turns out I, i've kind of got quite used to it and i'm quite enjoying using it so as a series box that's working rather well now i know silver steam vapor are doing uh series versions of their titans now and titans are spectacular but once again i mean titans have just been around for yonks and and they've they've, they've always been a really good solid um hammond style box mod um as far as anything else goes i've either got full series mech or i've got um regulated so i'm afraid i can't really tell you a whole hell of a lot on that one to be honest um so yeah it's a bit of a bit of a thing 
bit of a thing but no i mean i think it's worth checking out these uh the frost box guys i know they're coming out with some different uh different designs and some changes very very shortly so that's definitely worth having a look at those guys particularly if you're in the uk as well and it's nice to have a uk company that we can support for a change um what else have we got on what else have we got? I've still got to say about the new stuff in this week, but I am going to have a quick look at uh, a quick look at chat and see what's cracking on with you, crazy bunch. Now then, um, ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. what's uh, conversations going on? I, one of the things that I've come to realise that I really, really enjoy about the people that watch my videos is that sometimes in the comments section, people will ask a question and I may not have seen it, and a bunch of people will jump in and ask and uh, sorry and answer that question, which I think is super helpful. I really like the idea of this kind of mini kind of community of of, of helpful, like-minded people that comment on my videos. I really do enjoy that so thank you very very much indeed um what else have we got going on how oh, gareth lynch did ask does anybody know what's the best a squanker fuck that annoys me <laughs> it's not your fault gareth um i blame the plumes of hazard entirely <laughs> for saying squanker it's a fucking squanker <laughs> but uh but yeah as far as as far as the best squonker there's no best there's no best of anything because it's going to depend be dependent on exactly what you like so how you like to vape what you like power wise if you like regulated unregulated mechanical single battery double battery large bottle small bottle or whatever so there's a whole bunch of things involved there so um you know it's very very difficult the best thing to do is to check out bottom feeding mods or squonk mods um on youtube and just get a get a good sort of variety under your belt so you know what's out there and what might tickle your taste buds um what else are the others i'm trying to catch up on uh, on stuff um 10 tenebris underscore uk has asked my thoughts on the vanity vape pulse that review will be very very shortly so uh, i will i will keep you in suspenders in suspense suspenders <laughs> until then <laughs> um, so yeah i'll tell you more about that then um here we go what else have we got going on here uh oh there's so many messages i should have i should have really kind of tried to keep on top of this a little bit um someone's asked about the lacemo snow wolf touch not tried it so i can't help you about that one um was mrs biker on the one show as well yes she was uh, I think she got more screen time than I did. What's that all about? <laughs> um, now then, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, there's a few people here. Look, Vape and Biker. Okay, uh, I'm the one who messaged you on Instagram. IG name Liam Sheffield about the vape company. Sheffield is still being unresponsive, still waiting for a full refund. Liam, I uh, when I I replied to you on Instagram and said you should go through PayPal, um, and if not, then uh, you should go through to your citizens' advice. So hopefully you've done that. Um, I was wondering if you're looking at the pulse from Alex. As I said, I, that's coming up very, very shortly. Um, Zio Azalin, uh, bottom feeding question. I have a drone, but anything I can, uh, but anything I use apart from one particular squonking RDTA seems to give a dull flavor. Can you please help me with a setup that works for you? Um, as a cheap one, I really like the Peerless RDA. I think that's a really good, solid, cheap, squonking atomizer. I think it works really well. I think it looks all right on top of the drone as well because it's a 24 mil and uh, certainly worth having a little look at, in my opinion. But uh, there is a playlist I've got for squonking things on, uh, on my channel. So if you do want to see some more bits and bobs, you certainly can. Now then. I'm going to just scroll, sort of um, ignore the uh, chat again for a few minutes. I will come back to it, and uh, unless unless someone does the, uh, the 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 special super chat thingy, um, then uh, I'm not going to notice the chat just for a moment while I talk to you about the stuff that's come in. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get it out, and I'll forget all about it, and then I'll just i'll i'll be most upset that i've not told you crazy cats what's coming so let's have a little look first off we've got the gorgon da, da, da. the gorgon is from svo mesto um so we that's not it that's not it and it's not svo mesto either yes it is um <laughs> what have we done with it there it is <laughs> the gorgon look at that big bastard will you now this is not what you would expect to see from the people that brought you the K funds. This is a big, 
monster. I think it's about 26 mil. Let me just get my uh, little calipers out so I can give this a measure for you. I don't want to tell you anything that is massively wrong intentionally. Yeah, about 26 mil in diameter. So it's a big bastard. Um, now, this at the moment, I've got the the uh, the dripper cap. Can't remember what they call it. Cloud cap? It's not the cloud cap. Can't remember. But this, this top cap is an extra that you can buy. Oh, look at the state of these coils. Now then, under here, you do have a side clamp situation going on there. So um, it's an interesting one. Rather than sort of the clampy bit being on the outside, it's on the inside. So that when you're tightening up the single screw on the side of the post, it's pulling the clamp in and uh, and getting the wires. Now, I did have a little bit of a challenge being able to, uh, to get them to clamp the wires when I was using my Clapton's in there. But uh, with a little bit of jiggery pokery, I did manage to get it all sorted out. And so it is firing away like a good one right now. Now, the interesting thing on this one um that's that's not firing as angry there we go that's a little bit better um the interesting thing with this is it does come with this top cap here now you may be able to see can you see those tubes at the very very top at the sides there we go at six and nine o'clock there you've got some tubes going down now you've got those three tubes going down and you have the same three tubes each side coming up underneath the coil and um at the base of the uh, of the build deck there you'll see that you've got these holes along the bottom now there's a screw under um each one of the uh, each one of the holes and you can turn that which will um open or close each one individually so you can really really direct where your airflow is going onto the coils which i think is quite sort of quite an interesting kind of thing and i was surprised about how much of a tight draw you can get with this however obviously um it had does have a fairly fucking large chamber so it's going to be a big bugger now then if you have let's just pop this big top cap on here at the moment um you do have to be aware of when you're building your coils not to build them too high because if you do that then the tubes that come down are going to sit on top of your coils but uh, if you have that top airflow open at the same as the bottom it's pretty wide open to be fair But you are introducing a lot of air at that top section. Now, um, I've got to look and see if you can close all those down. I imagine you can do in the same as you can um, on the bottom one. But with this kind of different cap on the top of it here, um, I'm actually getting a really nice restricted lung hit, but a really nice flavorful vape. And I'm really enjoying that. That is, that's flavor for days. That and I'm surprised. I mean, granted, I've got a couple of big fuck off Claptons in there, but um, it's actually given me a because it's a restricted airflow. Even though it's a big kind of site or big amount of space inside that chamber, I guess the, the the restriction on that air is allowing the the vapor to really circulate around in there. So what I'm getting out is actually working really, really rather well. So I'm enjoying that. So I'm going to have a lot more to uh, get to know. No, I'm going to use that a lot more to get to know it properly. Obviously, it's only fair. Um, but if you are impatient, I believe Creme de Vape in the UK, they're the ones that sent it to me, and I believe they do have stocks of them. So if you're very excited and have a few a quid in the bank, then uh, go ahead and crack on over to those guys. Now then, elsewhere, 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 otherwise? <laughs> One of the th things that I've not been able to put down since I've had it is a mechanical mod that I think is fucking glorious. This might not be to everybody's taste, but this is the underdog. Now this has come. This has come from um, vape, uh, vape, V A P O R. So vapor is in the American spelling. Vapor hyphen royalty dot com in the UK, and from the Cloud Chasing Club uh, people directly. And I've got to say, this is fucking lovely. I really, really like this. Um, Obviously, this top cap on this uh, on this RDA doesn't have any kind of airflow that you can muck about with. It's a full copper RDA, so you will have to keep um, on top of that cleaning. Um, but it is a very solid two-post deck. Excuse me, bit of windy pops. Very solid two-post deck. But I've got to say, I've got to say, it's it's going well. It really is.
I'm enjoying the fuck out of this. I really am. I love this Serico, and this is Seracoated in the UK as well. Now, when Underdog, Underdog first started, I believe, and I will go into this more in the actual review, I believe that they um, kind of had a few bits and bobs machined in China, um, but then they're trying to move everything across to the UK. So I believe this is fully machined and fully made in the UK. I think parts like maybe like the springs might be over from China. I don't know about the contacts. I need to check on that. But uh, I do know that even the Cerakote is in the UK. And I think this green is just this kind of khaki matte kind of thing is fucking glorious. <laughs> this, just everything about this mod makes me happy. I've not done a vault drop test on it. And to be honest with you, I'm going to carry on using it regardless of what the vault drop test said tells me. Um, I imagine it's going to be pretty well. It's a solid copper mod with uh, with silver plated copper contacts. Um, I imagine it's going to go fairly, fairly well in the old tests. But uh, no, all is, it's heavy. It's he this is what I like in a mech. It really is, I tell you. Fucking glorious. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> Zio Azalin has donated five euros. Thank you very much indeed, Zio. Um, thank you for your answer. I'll make sure to check your playlist as I have a peerless and it seems dull too. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. A lot of the time, Zio, with a lot of these kind of builds, uh, first of all, thank you very much for your donation. Um, but with a lot of a lot of RDAs, you have to find that sweet spot for you. And that means that just because I will build it in a certain way, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will build it and get the same kind of um, benefits from it that I do. So this is where it's really, really worthwhile changing your builds up, trying Clapton's, trying Roundwire, Stainless Steel, N80, um, that kind of thing, and and sort of fiddling around to get it to tune it in exactly where you want, and also to increase and decrease the height of those coils to make sure that they're kind of. Personally, I find that if the air is coming from underneath the coil or coming into the in from the RDA and hitting the side to the bottom of the coil, then that's where I'm going to get the best flavor. But um, the best thing is for you to, for, to sort of fiddle around and see what takes your fancy in that respect. Um, another RDA that's really worth getting if you uh, if you can stretch to it is a Hadley. A Hadley RDA is just a brilliant little single coiler um, which has flavour for days and if you can get a little clap going on in there it's gorgeous. It really really is in my opinion. So a couple of ideas for you there. Worth checking them out. The peerless, I mean, it's hard to sort of get that direct airflow with the with the peerless because you've got the big gobbins of uh, of holes or loads of holes either side. Um, but uh, but I think that that smooth airflow just works for me. And then it's just a case of up and and down in your wattage and all that sort of stuff. So sorry, I can't be a little bit more specific with that. But my favourite coil build that a lot of people ask me is two core stainless steel 316, um, 26 gauge with 38 gauge cantho clapton and then i stick it through a pasta machine to flatten it just to give me a tiny tiny bit more surface area and um, for me they work out brilliantly on most things and the wraps and the inner diameter will depend entirely on if i'm using it on a mech or regulated or uh, or how much power i want to put through it and all that sort of good stuff so hopefully that helps you in some way shape or form um now then <sighs> so yeah Hopefully, Zio, that helped you. Thank you very much for your contribution to the channel. Um, now then, what else have we got going on? So we said the underdog. Fucking love it. Now I can't. I don't know if anyone mentioned anything on there, but uh, yeah. I think, I think they are lovely. I do notice that Korga said about um, the Cerakoted ones, they didn't do the Cerakoted when he got there, his. Um, now, I believe they just did the Cerakoted ones for Expo Just Gone. I, I imagine they're going to, well, they will be in production at some point in time, but uh, I'm not sure where and how and how much and all that sort of good stuff that's going to be um, or how long they'll be. I will hopefully have more information when I do the review on the mod. Cool. Cool. Now then, what else have we got? <laughs> Uh, so you guys know that um, uh, if you go to vapemats.com, you can purchase one of my vape mats. Now, as I said before, I don't make a penny on them. Um, but what happens is if you're in the UK or the EU and you don't want to pay astronomical shipping charges, then uh, one of the things that we do is vape mats send me a box of my own mats 
that I can't use. Um, and then if you want to order one and you're in the UK, what you can do is you can send him a message and tell him what you want, tell him where you are, and then you pay him. He then tells me what to send out, and then I send it out from the UK. So he sent me a big old box of, uh, of vape mats just for that purpose because we sold out the last ones. Um, now, he also sent me one of these. Now, <laughs> if you've seen, if you've seen, um, if you watch Grimm's vlogs, you'll notice that he had one of these, uh, one of the shows that he went to a little while ago. And that's because this is the biggest vape mat you will ever see in your life. Right, let's scroll, shall we? <laughs> it's too big, it's too big, it's too big. <laughs> What? <laughs> How amazing is that? <laughs> it's huge. It is just ridiculous. So <laughs> I now have to clear all the crap out of my off my desk just so I can put this big fucker on there and uh, and post some pictures up on all the normal social media and all that sort of stuff. But it's a beast, isn't it? Uh, uh, but yes, it's uh, it's 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 phenomenal. I don't know if vape mats are going to be selling. I think he's calling these pro mats. I think um, I don't know if he's selling these or not. But uh, but they're they're monsters. They're just monsters, and uh, you've got to have a big feckin' desk to get it on. I tell you that. Um, but uh, but yeah. So I'm looking forward to being able to get this on my desk. Oh yeah, fuck it. I'm poking myself in the eye with it. I'm uh, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> blind. Um, <laughs> and getting that on here so I can uh, I can use that the whole time. But anyway, it's a thing. If you want to vape mat, vapemats.com and go and uh, go and check those bad boys out. I've really hurt my eye. Um, now then, what else is going on? What else new? So else else other what uh, new in professional as ever polishing it on my uh, on my uh, top there um this is the vaporesso revenger kit which is a big chunky monkey uh, it's not i don't even know why i said that to be honest with you it's a fair size chunky monkey but this is a dual 18650 um two 18650s in it like so regulated device and it's a it's a it's a, it's a thing um we saw these at the show they were showing some of these off at expo in the uk however they didn't have the full production board in them and so when when i saw one at the show i was hugely nonplussed by the board because it looked dull and uninspiring and a bit crap but uh but no if i start it off there we go you can see that's what we've got to play with and yes i'm 88.8 .8 watts that's not a screen issue um and uh, yeah, it's it's it seems to be sort of quite funky. The tank, meh, meh on the tank, but uh, but the mod seems to be. I mean, it's a real quick fire. When I press the button, it's there. See, it's 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 firing instantly, which I think is very very cool. And when it comes to you, it's actually it comes in kind of like high high initial fire mode, and uh, so it, it kind of made me jump. But um, it is a thing. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying using this at the moment. The tank, not so much. Dominic's saying that you sent him. Uh, I guess you're saying sent two messages, but not got a reply. Dominic, is that through the contact form on the Vape Mats website or through like random Instagram or something else? Because uh, I would suggest always going through the contact form on his website. Make sure that it goes through that one. Um, if not, send me a uh, an email at info at vapingbiker.co.uk and then I will forward that on to Vape Mats. But please don't do that unless you really have to. <laughs> I get far too many emails it is. Anyway, so what else have we got going on here? Oh, look out, look out. What's, uh, uh, there we go. So, yeah, I did throw a little suggestion out to Mr. Todd that he may be able to offer or, or may be able to join in just to make us all jealous from Portugal. But uh, but he's scared of his wife, quite rightly so. So he's not he's definitely not coming on. <laughs> now, then, what else has got coming in? We also had this one. Now, I'd had one of these previously. 
and it was shit. Um, it just didn't read. It didn't read the uh, atomized resistance remotely stably, and was all over the place. So they sent me out another one, and or another another couple to show you guys. I will be popping one if this continues to work in the uh, in the um, possibly in the raffle of this time. If not, I may go into the next one. But uh, this is the uh, Lassimo Wyvern two three five. And it's got a, a thumb firing button at the top here. You fire it there, and that's very... Now then, where, I wonder where they took inspiration from. Because to me... <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Font selection. This will be worth it. This will be worth it, I think. Stay with me. Wallpaper select. Here we go. Some of that. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. There's a lot of wallpapers on this. There's a kitten on it. Do you ever need a kitten in your life? You can't see it. It's too bright. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hey, oh, God, nearly there. Are you getting bored yet? I'm sorry. Is it that one? No. That one. Right. And some of that. Oh, can you see these two here? Can you see the screens? There's a little bit of a similarity going on there, bless them. But they are what they are. Anyway, <laughs> not entirely sure that was worth the wait, but there you go. Um, but uh, this one seems to be reading resistance okay. It's a bit weird because when I got out of the box, it seemed to say... Um, uh, atomizer short even though it didn't have anything on top of it and then uh, when I took an atomizer off and fired the fire button it said that the air was like 0 0.27 ohms which which was interesting however I'm rocking this uh, American made from the rig guys uh, tank going on on the top of here with a TFV four coil in it I think it's the one with the is it might be the six I don't know it's got three it's got three L's, it's got three coils in it, it might be six coils, don't know. But uh, it's rocking it quite well, 111 watts. And it seems to be it seems to be performing. I'm not entirely sure if the mod is a little tiny bit underpowered, but we will see. That only came in today, I think. So we will, I will uh, I will check that. But I just thought I'd fire it up so I could show you guys and uh, and let you see it. But very very similar size wise to the uh, to the Vaporesso kind of affair going on right there. Um, very similar kind of thing going on sort of a similar kind of a theme but this one's a side fire and this one's a, a thumb firing um affair but uh, lots more to lots more testing to be done and we'll see how we get on with those now then uh finally finally new in dun dun da i think this is finally anyway oh no no it's not i've got um i have got some uh, some coil master Got some coil master charges or i've got a couple of coil master charges um this nice splendid slash down the box here was done by customs which i think is lovely so that was that was brilliant of them um but uh, but yeah i did try one of these previously which was i think it was a pre-production one and it was a bit naff but uh, i will probably unwrap one of these see if it works and uh, i will include those in a future raffle as well but uh, they're a thing. So they've come in. But I'll tell you more about those once I've ever used them. Now then, um, also, now then, now fucking then, do you remember the Sabone from RNV? Yeah, I quite liked this. In fact, I liked it a lot. It did a, did a cracking job as a, as a make mod. I thought the engineering and the finish and the look of it. I mean, this one's dirty AF now. But um, I thought it was a great, a great little mod. And I'm a massive fan of it. Well, those those nice people over at RNV um, have also done this one which is the pyra now when i first got this i had to i had to measure it first of all it's uh, whilst it's the same height as the uh, as the sabone it fit because it goes in at the waist it feels dinky and i had to measure it to find out what size atomizer because i was convinced it was going to only take 22 mil atomizers convinced but uh, no 24 who knew um, so it's a uh, it's a funny old thing um, but it's a lovely, lovely little mod. But look at that little setup. Look at that little puppy. Now, if I pop a, 
if I pop a battery next to it, you can kind of get an idea size wise. So the battery will be going in about kind of that height around about there. Um, and so it's not a big mod, not by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, no, I've not actually fired it up yet, but I will do. This came across from Grey Haze in the UK. So if you're interested, go and check out greyhaze.co.uk, I believe it is. Um, the Wyvern came direct from Lassimo, 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 whatever the fuck. Um, Revenge of Kit came in from Vaporoso. So uh, yeah, those... Uh, those um, are the new things that's all the new shit i think ladies and gentlemen so there's a whole bunch of confusion i've got things i'm still trying to figure out things that i have figured out things that i've got my review queue is massive and the last week of not being able to do many reviews has not helped that situation in the slightest unfortunately but um unfortunately it's one of those things as i said at the start um i have been kind of very concerned about dizzy and also we did had to do the one show thing and uh, um just stuff there's been things, there's been stuff getting in the way, mostly dizzy though, because I've been a bit of an emotional wreck, I guess is the easiest thing to say. So yes, but uh, I will push through and get more content out. Now, obviously when it comes to videos, um, I'm not gonna go through everything that I've done since the last vlog, cause there is quite a few there. Um, but uh, today went up the, uh, the, the Watofo BF, Serpent BF, which quite frankly, not, not into not into at all if you've not seen it i'm not digging it at all there's there's a couple there, there's two main things that have just massively massively put me off the uh the the rda as a whole and uh and so yeah i'm not jamming with it at all the design of it having to put the deck inside the uh the sort of the barrel thing whilst we've seen it in the sub-zero um it, I don't think it worked for that, and I don't think it works for this. I think it's a ridiculous design choice. Um, I also think that <clears throat> the silicone bung is potentially, well, I don't know if it's unsafe. I'm not going to say it's potentially unsafe, but when they say that you can't dry burn coils with it in place um, and uh, it's fine for vaping, that, which is their their, their, their response, um, that doesn't, ju it just doesn't ring lots of confidence bells with me personally so uh it's not something that i'm willing to uh, go out there and say is great also the squonk hole down the middle of the 510 is too small it's not a big enough hole so uh, i think if they changed out that uh, that 510 pin for a stainless steel pin with a bigger hole i'd be a lot of a lot happier chappy um so yes there's a fuck ton in the in the review queue to come up a lot to do and i will try and have, really push on with those as much as i possibly can uh, now then one last thing i need to go in for um Volker, thank you very much treats for dizzy five euros thank you very much indeed that's very very kind of you we do we uh we don't we're not getting to see her very much seeing as she's at the uh, vet and has been for the last couple of weeks but um but uh we, like i say we did get to see her on saturday which is brilliant um but no she's very very poorly so we've not been able to uh, to really get into it so we'll we'll i will buy her treats with your five euros thank you very much indeed that's very kind um now then the big post the big post the big one that shut my website down Ten thousand hits in a day or in a few hours, was the buy turbo mech from Tesla. Now, a lot of people have said, yes, we still want you to do a uh, review video of this, um, just so you can kind of highlight what you do, what you've said in the uh, in the post. I chose not to do that purely because um, I could get more sort of information in in one chunk out in the in the post if you've not seen it yet go across to vapingbiker.co.uk and look for the post entitled why i'm not or why i refuse to review the uh the bi turbo mech from tesla now first of all you can see this one's not even opened um first of all it's a regulated device it's, sorry it's an unregulated device it's not a mech second of all the the uh the it takes two atomizers on the top there um and uh it's it's suggests on the mod itself that they bearing in mind this is series uh it suggests that the lowest safe build that they recommend is 0 0.1 for a single rda 0 0.2 for two rdas which i cannot tell you how angry that made me it was just absolutely obscene tesla are using um voltage sag or battery sag to um to regulate the power outage for the uh, for the mech which is just beyond irresponsible in my book and because of that 
I strongly urge you to, if you've not seen it yet, go across to vapingbiker.co.uk and check out what I've written about this. I've also got an excerpt from uh, Battery Mooch on there. Um, but uh, I think this is just a horribly irresponsible mech. It will not be getting a full review. It will not be getting a full video um, purely because I don't want to publicize it to the point where people go, yeah, but fuck that. I'm going to go and buy one anyway. Um, that may not know what they're doing and get themselves into bother. So that's, that's the reason why I'm not doing the review on that but there is a full and solid write-up about why it's it's angered me so greatly uh on vapingbiker.co.uk so go and check that out if you're um remotely interested but yeah it broke my website <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a worry but uh yeah there we go so that's why we're trying to do some of the changes on the website to try and try and help all that so we'll see how we get on with that one but I think that's about it when it comes to the normal vloggy stuff, you crazy cats, you. So let me just close down a couple of windows here. And um, I think I can probably jump into having a little look-see and having a little look about uh, what, you, what you crazy cats are up to and what you're saying. So now we've got the Q&A section or the, 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 the questions, the normal stuff, the things, the chatty the conversation let's have a conversation between you and me so first of all if you want me to see it then type at vaping biker to start with because that hopefully will highlight it so i get to see it um if a lot of people do that and you do want to contribute to the channel you can use a super chat which i believe is if you press on the dollar sign i don't really know how it works um but that highlights a comment so i get to see it a little bit easier but uh, you don't have to and i will try and keep up but i know in the in the past the, the chat does has tended to go a little bit bonkers i'm so i can't talk today can i <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> oh dear right <clears throat> this is watered down squash by the way i've not just i'm not just swigging concentrated squash that would be wrong um schwartzy 71 says vaping biker read all the stuff on there. <laughs> yes schwartzy does also have a uh, review on there which you'll see there will be a section being de um, dedicated towards written reviews um, going on there now there's a great uh, dual review on there at the moment from ian so go and check that out and i uh, and see what you think of his writing skills because i think they're rather good and uh, did make me giggle quite a lot where ian won a competition if you're not aware um about writing for the website and he's done a sterling job of it there's a few more bits and bobs to come up and they will be happening soon and so yeah i'm going to be popping a dedicated bit just for ian's reviews on there at some point in time now then, um, Christopher Egger, Vaping Biker, got your hands on a Boxer BF mod yet? No, I have not. Um, oh, no, I have not. And because I've reviewed a Rebel mod, I, I severely doubt that that'll happen, to be honest with you. Liam says, I've spoke to citizen advice. They advised me to go to the bank then and refund me within seven days. Take you to trading standards. Absolutely. Um, Dudu SM vaping biker. Am I supposed to feel something in my lungs when I lung hit? I could just quit smoking four weeks ago and I don't know. I, I'm going to need to know what you're talking about in as much as you're feeling something you don't know if you should, or are you feeling something or should you feel something when it goes in? Um, because for that, I'm going to need to know if your mouth to lung in, what kind of setup you've got, if you're lung hitting it, because if you've got sort of a three milligram juice and you're doing a something like that big bad boy you are going to feel that fill up your fill up your lungs but if you're doing a more of a mouth to lung setup um or sort of a more gentle like that you're not so it's very very dependent on your setup to be honest with you um uh squids said i've got I got Tash hair up my nose. Um, Squid says, what do you think of the Goon 1.5? There will be a review coming out for that one. So uh, hopefully not too distant future. <laughs> I say that and things go tits up. But, you know, I hopefully will get to that one ASAP. Um, Aaron says, I love from South Africa. I love it to you, Aaron. I'm nicking a bit of a fresh 03 thing, throwing out the hearts there. But uh, yeah, love to you as well. Um, the Panzer says, greetings from New Zealand. Greetings to you, Panzer. Um, is the drone the best you've tried? Where did that, where did that go? Where did that go? Where did that go? Jeff Taos, is the drone the best you've tried? Hard to say. 
It's it's what it's my favourite dual battery squonker. How's that? My favourite dual battery regulated squonker. Absolutely my favourite. There we go. Um, Tuba, what do you think of the Ferro RTA? I've done a review on that, so that might be worth going and checking that bad boy out. I'm not a fan. Well, I, I'm just not. I'm not a fan, but it's it's okay. It's okay. It's not. It just doesn't set my world alight. Um, Dean, what tube make would you recommend for someone with significant hand mobility issues due to arthritis? Need lightweight and easy button action. Okay, so good question from uh, Hazosita. Hazosita. Uh, good question for that one. It's going to be very dependent. Personally, I would go for magnets or, well, yeah, I mean, you can get kind of lighter springs, uh, but you can get kind of light magnets as well. If you want to go cheap, then and you're okay with hybrid. Then the coil art kit, I think, is very, very good. Um, I think and the coil art kit is oh, that bad boy right there. I think this is absolutely fantastic. You just unscrew this uh, um, button right here, and that is a pretty light throw. It's not the lightest, but it's pretty light. Um, aside from that one, this underdog I'm using at the moment uses magnets and is super light. A really delicate, light touch on that one at the moment, but they're both hybrids. Um, if you're going for non-hybrid and you want a floating 510 because, because um, then oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. I'll have to think about that one. I think the broadside is quite a stiff one, who uh, misses. Uh, and I think... I think the tsunami met kit. I don't think that was that. I don't think that was super tough to press, to be honest with you. So that might be worth a little look if you don't want to throw a hell of a lot of money at it. Um, Lando, have you reviewed the new iJoy RDTA box mini? No, I have not. Um, Timothy, can I send you some alien staggertons? I have so many. I have so many coils. I've not used the coils that I've been given from Expo and Jam yet. So um, I'm going to say no, pure not because I don't want to see them, but purely because I've got a bucket load so you may send them to me and i won't get around to using them for months and months and months at which point i'll forget who sent them to me so um i think it's probably better uh not to but tag me in one of your posts on instagram do that how's that um did you see mooch's mech materials post so much butter yeah and i think a lot of people didn't understand that i mean mooch was talking about the actual tube so you know when you take when you take a mech mod apart the uh particularly if it's if it's the uh if it's a non-hybrid version if you take the switch out and you take the top cap off um and you've just got this tube he's talking about just that material there and we kind of know that that doesn't make a huge amount of difference for some mech mods for for most mech mods to be fair um because it is all in the switch and it's all about the battery connection at the top however and i'll try and talk a little bit more about that in uh, in later personally i feel that um if you've got a hybrid design such as this whereas um where or if you have a kind of the solid molded um 510 hole in the top of it and it's all one piece then i think i think it does come into play to some degree but i'll explain a little bit more, more about that in a future video um but um bum ba 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 dum ba what else have we got? Um, Gorge or Pulse 22. I'm going to be doing the Pulse 22 review shortly, so you'll have to make your mind up at that point in time. Um, what else? Um, buddies, let's make this a thing. Question mark squad up, buddies. <laughs> or make buddies a thing <laughs> i don't know uh interested in what camera you use looking to get a new camera ha ha, ha from Corey barton um i'm using just a logitech c930 on here at the moment because it's a webcam and it's okay but my bandwidth is shit at home which is why it's not as good as it could be um however for my main camera I use a Canon uh, G7X Mark II, which I think is absolutely spot on. I think it's really, really good. I'm using it for everything at the moment. Um, I did use, for my up-close sections, a Canon Legria HFR76 video camera for my up-close sections, but I... Um, it wasn't giving me quite the clarity that I wanted in the up close. So I'm now selling that. So if you know anyone that wants a Canon Legria uh, HFR76, then uh, then let me know. A couple hundred quid, it's theirs. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's the thing. So, yeah, the Canon G7X Mark II, tip top. And it's it, because it's kind of a point and shoot, it means it's super easy to carry anywhere with you. I, t I find it so easy to use when I go to events, um, as well as, you know, doing some, some good stuff. I'm trying to learn my way around photography with it as well without going through excuse me without going down the full dslr route but if i sell the Legria, 
I may pop some more money to it and get a full DSLR at some point in time. Um, ordering uh, Sanyu 27 amp batteries from Fast Tech. Good idea, says Christoph Egger. Um, personally, uh, I wouldn't. For me, I don't. I don't order batteries from Fast Tech or Gearbest. Um, I would prefer to use them from a trusted supplier that I know gets them from a, uh, a from either the directly from the the guys themselves or uh, yeah somewhere that I I fully trust. To be honest with you, so yeah. Um, what else have we got going on here? Oh, there's a load of people. There's a load of people. Jay has asked, hello, Jay, nice to see you. Um, did you get the clap tonight coils from Leandro at Expo? They're weird, but pretty awesome. I have no idea. <laughs> there you go. I think I still have stuff to open from uh, from that. Um, Liam Shepard, I want to start a YouTube channel, review channel for vaping. What would be the best way to start up? Um, just get on it. Don't procrastinate. Just get on it. You can do it with your phone. You can do it with your webcam. You can do it with your computer cam. If you look back at my most horrific videos right at the start of this, everything I did was either on the phone or um, through the camera that was coming straight off my MacBook. Um, and you don't have to. You don't have to worry about getting absolutely brilliant camera setups. Uh, what I would suggest is get more than adequate lighting and try and use daylight bulbs or kind of a white bulb wherever you can. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, don't don't procrastinate just get some gear out of your out of your stash and get recording get used to being in front of a camera and talking shit to a camera pretending it's your best friend that's uh, this here this that's dave just so you know <laughs> but uh but yeah otherwise just get used to doing it don't expect people to send you stuff because that's not going to happen quite frankly so um it will happen only once they notice you once you've once you've got yourself a good following once you've got yourself in a position where people enjoy watching you and very very rarely will you go on camera for your first time and go hi and be absolutely smooth as fuck so it takes a little bit of time getting used to i think it was about a year year and a half before i started getting kind of quite a reasonable stream of products coming in for review so yeah just do not expect that and uh, work it it's a trade so you've got to work as as much as you do with everything else work hard on your on your filming on your editing and uh, getting getting comfortable but that's it otherwise just get stuck into it don't don't think about it don't think about it just do it um one last thing is i probably wouldn't i personally don't see the the benefit in doing juice reviews i tell you what i'm vaping because people are interested but um but if i if i get a juice and i say mm, this tastes like such um then then your taste may be completely different to mine. My taste buds are horrific, so um, I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't guarantee what I'm saying is anything close to what it is actually supposed to taste like. So that's that's you know that's the thing. Um, we are going to be doing a few more written juice reviews on the website, but uh, but yeah, I, I mean also it's you're really restricting your viewership. If you're doing a juice, if you're doing a juice review, if I was to review Deja Voodoo by Wick Liquor, which I love a lot, I think it's a brilliant juice. If I was to do a review on this, someone would have to search for Deja Voodoo from Wicklicker or, you know, however I'd put it in a tab. But they'd have to search for that particular juice, which means that, you know, unless someone who doesn't know about it and therefore doesn't know what it tastes like, so might be interested to know what it tastes like, knows about the name, which they've picked out of the ether from somewhere, they're, they're going to have a hard time finding your uh, finding your channel and finding your review. So personally, I would go on products and go with what you've uh, what you've already got, regardless of how old it is, and uh, just you know just let people know what you think of it. That's about it. Be genuine, be honest, and use your own language as well. Now then, uh, what? What? Hang on. Someone said Todd's in the house. I don't think he is. Is he? Is he? Get away. No. Or is someone pretending to be Todd? Is it him? No. Where is he? He's not there. He's not. You're lying to me. You're lying. You're telling me porky pies. Someone's in there. Um, Mikey Vapes, are you going to? I don't think that's Mike Vapes. I think that's Mikey Vapes. Are you going to Fest this year? Yes, I am. I'll be at Fest. Um, I'll also be at Expo in October. Um, and uh, everyone's a winner. So yes, I will. I do try to get to everything in the UK. I know there's another one going on in uh, in um, London later on in the year. I think the weekend before or after Vape Fest. I don't actually know if anyone's anyone. 
<laughs> one's actually got a stall there yet but uh i don't know if i'll be going to that one just because how close it is to fest but otherwise you know I, I do try and get to everything i can hopefully next year i can branch out and take my little trike and go uh, to other places in the world as well so hopefully i'd love to meet some of you guys from germany and france and italy and spain and and uh, obviously in america as well but we'll, we'll have to see if that happens it's fucking expensive <laughs> uh what else have we got going on um uh, anthony russell says boulevard is better and my wife would agree with you on that one i would strongly disagree i think boulevard is nice but it's no deja vu now then uh what else have we got uh dominic pelosi dina i think you should go down the patreon route i know myself as well as many others would be happy to contribute to the running of this channel thank you very much indeed yeah and and i've always said no and I think really the only way I would do it is if I knew that I was able to give back an adequate amount, you know, and also I don't want it to be a kind of an elitist thing where, where, you know, a portion of my viewers get stuff. I, I don't, it's, do, you, do you see my challenge here? I try and make the, the channel and everything and the raffles and everything else sort of available to absolutely everybody because I think everybody should be included um, irrespective of whether you contribute. And it's bloody nice when people do contribute, but um, irrespective of whether people do or not. So yeah, it's a, tough one it's a tough one i don't really know what to do i mean if i got to a stage where i can get more kind of um t-shirts printed up and all that sort of stuff then you know maybe i don't know we'll see we'll see i don't know i don't know i'm not i'm not discounting it entirely but just at this current moment in time it's not something that's really high on my agenda but thank you very much um brian etris i thought you meant let's make buddies a thing i just just to say make hashtag very oh Oh, make hashtag vaping biker buddies a thing. Uh, oh, I like that. Vaping biker buddies. Yeah, I like that. Make that a thing. Make it a thing. Get it on there. I'll stick it on a few. Shall I? So I'll stick it on a few of mine. See if it catches on. Uh, um, Samuel says, greetings from a Sudan. Oh, fuck me. Hello, Samuel. That's a, that's a lot our way. Oh, look, hey, look. Todd's reviews. Put your glasses on your old fart. Now, I'm going to warn anyone in chat that Todd is quite possibly drunk um and is therefore very very unreliable at this stage in time you could ask him a question and who knows who knows what answer you'll get back you'll ask him what's the haku like and he'll say custard <laughs> quite potentially but there you go he is in chat nice to see you mr todd hope you're having a wonderful wonderful holiday and thank you for not sending me just picture upon picture of your wonderfulness you uh bastard anyway what else have we got going on? Oh, dear. Uh, uh. Thoughts on the Sub-Zero X. That's the, uh, that's a, the, the new, uh, uh, the new SOI mech, isn't it? I, um, I've not tried it. I've not seen it. I've not tried it. I've never had a, uh, an SOI. I couldn't tell you. Don't know. Know nothing of it, I'm afraid. Sorry. No, fuck all. Now then, what? I haven't had a vape. I haven't had a vape. Let's get the underdog out. Very nice, too. Hang on. We need some more of this. We need some more of this. Need some more going on. Ow. No, can't squeeze. My right hand's still bugging. <laughs> Sorry to add headphone users. <laughs> oh dear he's all too much <laughs> um, what is else going on? what else have we got going on here what else have we got going on um owen says love from ireland thank you very much owen very kind of you uh vaping biker uh vaping biker buddies facebook group now i've said about the facebook group before they're just a freaking nightmare they sit they're really nice i mean to the group that excuse me windy pops to like the group that's in here now it would be pleasant it would be nice everyone would be getting on lovely and it would be great but then if it gets to a certain size it gets to a point of being kind of unmanageable by me and then you need extra admin on and then it's really really difficult just to keep a sort of a, a rein on it to make sure it stays polite and friendly and all that sort of stuff and to be honest with you i have no patience to get involved with any level of vape drama and bullshit so um 
it's just not something that I'm not uh, I'm not interested in. So uh, there is obviously my vaping biker page, and you can comment on that one as much as you like. And uh, I'm trying to do a few more interactive posts. We did one recently about favorite coil builds, um, and also where people are from. So then, if you need advice about vape shops in your area or whatever, you can kind of you can see where people are from, so you can ask for advice under their sort of comment. I'd like to do a little bit more of that and uh, sort of so we have topic posts that people can get involved with rather than a group, if that makes sense, because it just it's, it seems to keep things on track a little bit more. And then there, there'll always be arguments about the clone thing and oh, just fucking can't be asked. Can't be asked with a group, to be honest. Um, now then, what else have we got going on here? See, those of you, I'm just here to watch the old fucker embarrass himself. <laughs> He's a worry, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, look. Hey, what? Skills. Skills, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. I don't mind if Mr. Todd chats in intermediately in the group, ind indiscriminately, madly, just randomly in the group. He can do that. That's cool. <laughs> He's one of the few people that I'm okay with that doing rather than just spamming their own shit on my page. Now then, Todd, are you and Dean good buddies <laughs> in real life? I'm going to let Todd answer that one. <laughs> uh, Brian, we don't hang out as such. Um, he lives in Scotland and I live in Norwich. So it's a, it's, I think it's about a seven and a half hour um the drive so no that doesn't happen but i am going to go and stalk outside his shed i know where he lives so i'm going to go and stalk him and uh, i'm gonna i am at some point in time going to impose myself on his shed he doesn't know it yet and he, he might disagree and and strongly argue that fact but uh <laughs> i'm gonna do it <laughs> but no mr todd is a lovely man he's a bell end but he's a very very lovely man and i love him very much and yes I would say he's a friend, a good friend of mine. Good friend of mine. Um, now then, what else have we got going on there? Any more chats? Any more questions? Come on, guys. We've been on for an hour and 20 minutes now. If you're, uh, if you're, oh, hey. Now, Dennis says, would you let Todd ride the shadow? For those of you that don't know, I, I ride Honda shadow bikes, um, or at least I normally do when uh, when uh, i'm not full ball cripple my fibromyalgia has taken over my ankylosing spondylitis at the moment so um there's no cure for fibromyalgia and it just is going to get worse which is nice but um i'm trying to i'm trying to figure out a way of funding uh triking my uh, my two-wheel honda vt 750 black spirit shadow so i can get back on the road again with a few other adaptations so we'll have to see if we can get that going i'm hoping that that's going to happen um but uh but there we go what else have we got going on there todd says that i'm his sex slave which he wishes he keeps trying he keeps trying with his gentle little grabs for a big muppet of a man he he, he grabs gently he really does <laughs> Dean, which football teams do you support? I don't. I'm afraid. I don't watch football. It, it annoys me. It annoys me. The people annoy the the, the players annoy. Not the people that watch, but the people that play the game annoy me. The clubs annoy me. Everything annoys me. It just frustrates the fuck out of me. So uh, I can't do it without without getting very very angry. Uh, Vape by uh, touch reviews. That's Patreon content, definitely. <laughs> what just for the sexy time? <laughs> sexy times for Patreon people. <laughs> um hi dean have you tried the peerless special edition i recently bought the stainless and it's much better than the original i have got the uh, special edition have i got it on something or have i taken it off now i've had it on so i've had the gold one on something because i really like it i like it i like it i think it's i think it's glorious there we go <laughs> um now then, Squong Mods, a few people have mentioned about the um, about the Geek Vape G-Box S100 or S-Box G fucking one, whatever it is, what this thing, um, and saying you can't get it in the UK. Now, yesterday I did actually get confirmation, or the other day um, I got confirmation from Geek Vape that they have stopped production on that now, but excited there is another one coming along. So hopefully I'm going to be able to give you some more information about that soon. But uh, yeah, there is going to be another uh, Squonka coming from Geek Vape. So get excited about that because for a very, very affordable, regulated device, I thought that that one was particularly good. Now then, what else is going on? Ah, 
did you try the Negus Mods and Sons mix? Negus Mods and Sons mix. Neg Negus Mods and Sons. No, I didn't. No, I don't know about them, and uh, no, I didn't. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind trying them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind trying them. Um, what else have we got going on? Uh, Corey, have I ever played rugby? Only for shits and giggles, not for not for profit. See, my main sport back in the day when I was a when I was a young man in my early twenties, particularly, um, I was I was more into powerlifting. And uh, and then into bodybuilding, but powerlifting, I was a British champion and record holder in a drug-free federation. So um, right back in the day, there that was uh, you know a good twenty years ago. Now uh, <laughs> that was my kind of bag, throwing big fucking weights around rather than anything else. Um, what else have we got going on? Have, is there any more questions? Make sure that you stick at vaping biker at the start of them. If you have, uh, if not, I may not see them. I'm going to have a little think about what to vape. What should I vape? What, 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 yeah. Let's do this Vapor SO Revenger kit. I'm really surprised that I kind of like this mod. Not bad, is it? It's not bad. Fuck, I tell you. V God. V God! Now then. Any more for any more. Otherwise, we're going to be coming to an end after an hour and a half of going on about this. I did think, you know, do you want to know about my thought process? Um, I did have a little think the other day about whether I should do a 24-hour live review non-stop vlog. So I'm on camera for 24 hours non-stop. I didn't know whether that's a thing. If I could ra ra raise enough money... I think I'd probably do that, you know. I think that that could be quite good fun because then everybody could get jumped in on it and uh, and uh, try and get a few special guests in and all that sort of stuff, and and it may kill me. But I think that could be pretty cool. Let me know what your thoughts are on that one. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm interested on in your thoughts, particularly if you're watching this on a rerun and you pop it in the comments down below, just because that means that I will then be able to see it after the video rather than trying to catch everything on the, on the, on on the chat there. So yes. Now then, now then, is there anything else going on there? I think we're all good to go. I don't think there's many questions coming through, ladies and gentlemen, so I will be hanging up my... Uh, oh, hello. No, there's more questions coming through. <laughs> oh, what do we go there? Um, oh, Mike Forber actually asked, my wife has got fibromyalgia and she vapes. Do you think it helps? It definitely helps instead of smoking. In my opinion, um, I think smoking is uh, it will make everything fibromyalgia wise worse. Um, but so vaping absolutely helps with that one, in my opinion. You know, um, I think it's I think it's a bastard, but I think it's it's a thing. You've just got to do what you can. Loads of people say about eating a starch free diet, eating um, low carbs and all that sort of good stuff all for being helpful and and for some people that really does work but there's a lot of support groups out there there's um there's a great page on facebook called the mighty um and i think it's just a facebook page it might be a website but the mighty and they, they've, they've got a lot of sort of subsections for people with things like fibro as and all that sort of good stuff as well so um that's definitely worth checking out looking and seeing what other people are doing and how they get helped is uh, is invaluable because it's a it's an illness that a lot of people don't understand because it looks like in this situation that I'm perfectly normal. Nah, I'm fucked. <laughs> um, and uh, is the fibro video on the cards yet? Yeah, yes, it still is. But my vape queue at the moment, I've got 27 items in my in my vape review queue at the moment, which is uh, which is a pig and nightmare. So. Um, it's it's one of those things where I'm going to be putting up more uh, more videos than I want in on any particular day, but you know it's it has to happen, um, and uh, I do want to I do want to clear that queue as quickly as possible. But as I said, there's been a lot of things unfortunately interrupting it that have been unforeseen and uh, and have been a bit of a pain, so I can't help that. But uh, but yeah, I've also stopped do, taking on new products unless they're particularly special or interesting, or I'll find that I have more RDAs than mods or more mods than RDAs. So I'll try and keep that balance going for you guys. But 
all in all, I do want to keep trying to show you some good stuff, you know. Uh, what else have we got? What mech mod reviews coming up? Do you think one mech mod will repeat the Tomahawk in the voltage drop test? Don't know. Don't know about that one, uh, Mr. Anbu84. I don't know, but we do have the underdog coming up and we do have the admiral. Look at that patina that's going on that admiral now. What? what so uh yeah those two are definitely uh, coming up in the very near future along with the uh the pyra uh from rmv so those mod those make mods will be coming through i'm very very much aware of the fact that the the, the massive amount of make mods that i was doing in a short space of time was, might have been pissing people off a little bit so we, we we're kind of varying it up a little bit we're doing a few regulated and then we'll come back to the mix now then um Schwartz he said do it for children in need or something yeah i guess you're talking about the 24 hour thing that i, I just thought about um i i think children in need is a very valid cause but i think that personally i like trying to make more of an impact on a much smaller cause where that money has a has a bigger impact does that make sense so um like the raffle that's going to be coming out tomorrow is a very very specific cause to try and make something happen um and uh th that kind of thing i think we can together we can make more of an impact rather than you know something great like a great total like we, we did last time like a thousand pounds go into something that that, that uh that could get lost in the ether the last raffle we did went to a very good very highly specific course and tomorrow will be the same so um i prefer personally to do that way just because it's great to be able to make something really positive happen rather than kind of just get swallowed up amongst a much bigger thing does that make sense i hopefully hopefully that makes sense um so yeah uh when is the twitch thing happening again says adam yeah oh, it's hard it's hard again like i said it was meant to happen two weeks ago then it was meant to happen last week but uh unfortunately situationally things happen where i couldn't so it is definitely going to happen but it's just trying to find that time and i've got to say it's so so difficult to find time at the moment i'm trying to manage um as well as all the social media i'm trying to learn how to website design i'm trying to um kind of improve things like my camera work i'm trying to uh, you know obviously i need to road test all of the equipment uh, just there's so much stuff there is so much stuff as well as trying to you know keep up with uh, messages that i get from everybody on all platforms so i try to do what i can now then oh what else have we got there's a few here um what do you think of the pulse i'll tell you in the review um 24 hour vlog would be awesome asim i imagine he's saying awesome what are your thoughts on the hype on mods for like the franken skull people say it's served amounts of money for a mod there's no different from a lot of other 3d yeah i mean it's um i think the hype on the franken skull was entirely created by the company and they did a very very good job of it and they continue to do a very very good job of it and that hype maintains because of the lack of availability of them i mean i think they've gone up in price now so they're just over 160 quid i think new i think people ruthless wankers do flip them for crazy money um and i think you should never ever pay over retail for any product to be honest with you um let alone a uh, a 3d printed mech in my opinion now then um what else have we got going on here uh, uh, tyler crow just lost my job today any recommendations of inexpensive juice or juice companies first of all sorry to hear that um tyler that sucks i've been in that position before as well and it blows uh what i would suggest is looking into your bottle shots looking into mixing your own juice check out some of the stuff on dark star vapor on vapor is it vapable can't remember um I, but there's there's a bunch of really good sites out there to get your um to get your sort of concentrates from and all that sort of stuff as well as eliquidrecipes.com i think it is as a website which is a brilliant resource if you do want to make up your own e-liquids but uh but make it i did a i did a, a dark star uh, bottle shop video a little while ago which means that i made kind of half a liter of juice for for very very little money um and i still had a bunch of stuff left over that i could make another half a liter with later on down the line so go and check that video out because that is absolutely the cheapest way of doing it and for me personally from the dark star uh, bottle shots range i prefer the cerberus which i think is a brilliant brilliant custard and athena for a sort of a coulardery really bright kind of berry flavor not so much berry more more brightness but it is there so that's uh and good luck good luck on finding your next role 
silent one vaping by keep up the good work thank you very much indeed <sighs> what have we got going on here um just done a mech mod review really enjoyed it uh something different from the normal absolutely jay absolutely and go and check out jay's channel um jay vapes i can't remember jay let us know what your channel is i don't mind you can pop a little cheeky cheeky thing going on in that one i'll, I'll give you a shout out i'm good I'm, I'm good like that i'm a nice reviewer um What's your recommendation for a mech mod under $250? Completely dependent on how you like to vape or what kind of thing you like. Personally, from the higher end there, I really like the purge mods. I think the twisted is, is lovely. I think the uh, um, coming down, I mean, things like the, the broadside, the admiral, the uh, um, the rigs, they're, they're great around that kind of £100 kind of level. Um, and then below that, obviously, we've got the underdog, which I think is brilliant and even cheaper than that. I think it's the coil art kit, which is which is very, very good indeed. So it all depends how much you want to vape, uh, how much you want to spend, rather, uh, how you like to vape and all that sort of good stuff. So uh, check out reviews on those. To be honest with you, I like different mods for different purposes. And so it's a really, really difficult question for me to answer. Um, Favourite wire material, stainless steel. Oh, Kevin Stallion, five pounds contributed to the channel via the uh, via the, the 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 special chat thing, uh, super chat. Thank you very much indeed, Kevin. That's really appreciated. Very very kind of you. Frostbox looks really good. Think I'm going to grab a time. Thank you and Todd for your review on Frost was really really good. Yeah, I mean. Like I said, uh, after the after Expo, I'm not reviewing this particular box purely because they are going to be bringing out a newer version. So when I get the newer version, I will compare the two. But uh, as far as this one goes, it's a straightforward, simple, no uh, no messing um, uh, series, unregulated box with tidy internals. I think this is certainly a damn good sign. And uh, yeah, I mean, when it comes to the Titan stuff, I mean, I've got, I've got a soft spot in my heart for the Titan mods anyway. So uh, definitely, definitely worth checking out as well. But if you're in the UK, obviously you've got to buy from Silverstein, which means that you could have import charges and all that sort of stuff. So if cost is an issue, go and check out the Frostbox guys. Um, what would be a good name for a review channel? I review vape stuff. There you go. How's that? You can have that for free. <laughs> I review vape stuff.com. Boom. Sorted. <laughs> right. I think uh, I think that's about it. Oh, hello. Is Flitzy in? Is Fl People are saying hello to Flitzy. Is Flitzy? Flitz Arnold? He is. Look. Did I see Todd's reviews in it? You're supposed to be vacationing. Yes. Yeah, I fucking love you, Flitz. Um, yes, yes, Todd is floating around or was floating around in there. Don't know if he still is. Nice to see you, Flitzy. Thank you very much for joining us. Apologies if you've been here for a while. And I didn't, did, didn't see you. I didn't see you. What's going on? Jeff Buck, you're the fucking man, Dino. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, Dean. I do try. <laughs> right. Have we got any more for any more? At Vaping Biker, if you want me to answer a question before we finish. Liam Shepard, if you do start, I review vape stuff.com and, uh, and you get more followers than me instantly. I will be furious, <laughs> but, uh, no crack on, <laughs> uh, Vix, she's a shout out from the USA. We shout out back at you. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Jamie's in. Jamie Dalloway's in. Cracking in right at the end, much like I do with the Vapors Worldwide show. If you've not seen that on YouTube, go and check those guys out. They're a, a lovely bunch of people, so go and check Vapors Worldwide out. That's a, it's a nice little chat on a Wednesday night, about 9 p.m. UK, I believe. Um, uh, someone whose name I can't pronounce at all, and I'm not. I'm. Uh, I'm not even going to try. Got your hands on a copper vape kit, mate? Thoughts? No, I haven't got on a copper vape. It's been out for ages. If it's the box, excuse me, box mod you're on about. Um, but um, no, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, Aaron, what bike do you ride? Uh, a lot of people will be able to tell you by now, but it is a Honda Shadow VT750 is my main bike when I'm uh, when I'm able to ride, although I'm looking at getting that triked in the near future. But the Black Spirit, so the Phantom in the States, but the Black Spirit in the UK, uh, nice and light so you can be able to throw it around. It's customized to buggery um, and uh, and for quite some time was the uh, was the quickest Black Spirit out there in the world. 
<laughs> do you vape mex in stacked form much uh no i don't um i do have the stack for the twisted from the purge which is brilliant and i do on occasions but for me it's more of a form issue than anything else uh purely because of the the mod falling over and all that sort of stuff due to the extra length who uh misses um a little bit extra girth is always a winner so if i do do uh, if i do do a series of mechanical mod um i will use something like the rig pig or i've got a darwin mod up there which i think is really good um or i've got uh for an unregulated one a few people may have seen it. i brought this out of retirement recently which is my uh, this is one of my little boxes that i threw together um a fair old while ago it's not mechanical, but uh, it's not far off. Um, but it's got uh, it's it's reasonably tidy. It just does what it says on the tin, and uh, it's a good honest wonk. It's a good honest series mech. So, yeah, I do, but uh, but not a whole hell of a lot, just because of the form, because it's a bit awkward. I mean, I guess you could put it in the front of your jeans pocket and impress the ladies, but <laughs> I'm married, so I don't do that. Um, Skunk mod recommendations, only the ones on my channel, Dave. They're the uh, ones that I've looked at, buddy. So I do have a Squonk playlist on my uh, on my YouTube channel, so you can go and check that out. Um, which new mech mod do you look forward to the most? Is that uh, Rob No Fry? Is that Robin? No, Robin O Fry. I've just figured out. That's not Rob No, but it's Robin, isn't it? Robin O Fry. Um, uh, did, is that the ones in my queue at the moment or ones that are coming up that I haven't seen as yet? I don't know. But uh, one of the ones that I'm, I mean, I, 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 I love reviewing stuff. I just genuinely do. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the underdog performs just because I really, really enjoy using it. Have you seen the Death Trap RDA? Yes, I have, Corgith, and I would like one, but I haven't got one as yet um uh jay rees triple x or admiral um i've reviewed the triple x i've not reviewed the admiral uh the admiral that i've got is copper though and the triple x was brass so there will be a very strong difference between the two um obviously we've got completely different button styles and all that sort of stuff but i'll tell you more about my opinion on the admiral when we get around to doing that review if that's okay uh what else have we got ba -da, da, 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 da. <laughs> sometimes i forget you're there uh, uh, <laughs> what else have we got going on keep up with the questions if you want to keep me going uh, uh, otherwise i'll go and have a wank um <laughs> no i won't um <clears throat> jay jerry i've been looking to upgrade my mother sub tank mini for to uh rta so i can build it um oh for you for your mother right i thought you were looking to upgrade your mother then <laughs> Uh, I was looking at a Goblin Mini V2. Is it worth buying? I did review on the Goblin V2 ages ago. It's a it's a nice little RDA, uh, RTA. Um, it does. It's got quite a sort of restrictive size when it comes to your build area. Um, and I guess it depends if you're going to be the one that's going to be coiling it up every five minutes, or whether you're going to teach her to rebuild as well. Brian, I've wondered this, excuse my ignorance, is quid the same as American term bucks refer to money? Yes, it is. Quid is a pound or a pound or a spondoolie or moolah. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a quid. <laughs> a quid is one pound. Um, <clears throat> what else have we got? Pico Squeeze. Uh, 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 look, hey, look, Todd's answering questions. Good on you, Todd. Keep on it because I'm clearly not seeing them. Oh, there we go. We're on to the same one. Um, what else have we got going on here? Look at, look at, look at it. Look at it. Oh, just isn't it? And it's, you know, I swear it's just not because it's got a little doggy on the bottom. I swear it isn't, but the little doggy does help. <laughs> oh, my word. Hey, look, someone's asking what's kind of motorcycle I drive. <laughs> Once again, it's a VT750 Black Spirit VT. Uh, no, <laughs> VT750 Honda Shadow Black Spirit. But that's my main main ride. It's a Phantom in America. Uh, trying to convert it to a trike at the moment. But otherwise, I've got VT1100 in the garage, which is a semi-finished um, sort of uh, low rider kind of pro street kind of build that i was making that i made all of the tins on and all that sort of stuff i'll try and put i'll put i'll try and put some pictures up on social media if i haven't done so already about a couple of bikes but uh the, one of the bikes has been featured in last summer's a couple of last summer's vlogs 
So if you can find that, you're laughing. Now then, um, style of coils you vape, you most like to vape on, round wire 24 gauge, uh, 8 wrap or stainless steel or N80 or my normal coils, my, my dual core 26 gauge stainless with Canthel outer Clapton's and flattened as well. Is there anything in the pipeline you've either been surprised by or are looking forward to trying reviewing? Well, I'm, after I mentioned about the Geek Vape Squonker situation, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they come up with that. Um, otherwise, uh, in the pipeline, well, the underdog, everything I've shown you today, I'm looking forward to apart from this looking forward to this slightly less but I am uh, I am looking forward to doing <laughs> a whole bunch of things um what else I don't I'd like to see that death wish RDA I'd like to give that a go um if I can afford it in the vape budget I will but uh, unfortunately that may not be uh, that may not be a, a possibility for a little while so we'll see how we get on with that one um but uh but there we go dean quick one mikey vapes do you ever get black marks on back on the contacts from your batteries from mechs do you know how to get rid of them yes i do and they're arcing for arcing marks from where your contact either your battery contact at the top or the bottom is touching onto the battery um usually down to a wobbly dirty contact or um or a crazy low build or something like that so um yes it's cleanable you can use your normal sort of cleaning routine um for mods i i will tend to use a little bit of auto sole or something like that on uh, on a contact if not the rubber back of a mouse mat get your rubber back of a mouse mat and rub like bilio and that will clean it up quite nicely um for for, for anyone's winner um linden then says uh would you know how to stop hot button on my sabone mech now that's probably due to a uh, that's probably going to be down to either dirty threads dirty contacts or once again a particularly low build um I've not had that issue on my Sabone. Um, although, isn't there another Sabone? Isn't there a, a cheap and nasty Sabone? Not the RNV one now, but the uh, don't, um, isn't there someone else doing a Sabone now? I think there is. I'm talking about my Sabone from RNV. Never had a hot button issue. If it's the other one, then um, then I've got no, no answer for you on that one because I've not used it. Um, Tenebris UK, not a Honda Cub then, no. No. Although they are great fun, by all accounts. <laughs> there is a couple of videos, a group of guys on YouTube that um that kind of that that took their Honda Cubs and have done things like gone across Africa on them, have gone to Antarctica and places like that, and just done stupid stuff on them. They're amazing. Definitely worth watching if you've not seen them. Um uh, what have we got here? What does the Cerak what does Cerico feel like? Um, on this one, it's kind of it's a it's a matte, it's a very light matte finish. Um, so it's it's pretty darn smooth, but you'll tend to find that if you do have a Cerakoted mod that uh, that feels a little bit more um more matte i don't really know how to explain it but has a little bit more texture that kind of wears through or wears away a little bit giving that was dodgy yeah <laughs> giving you a kind of a smoother finish with use but uh yeah that's that's about all i can tell you with that one l ashton um uh was you on the bbc show the other day yes it was jay jerry i did mention talked about that right at the start so if you want to go back to the start once we finish the live stream i can tell you more about that there um have i tried to, uh douglas says have you managed to talk frostbox into letting you try one of their squonkers no I've, I've not actually spoken to them i spoke to them directly after this show but i haven't spoken to them since and they've not contacted me to uh to say dean please look at this so uh yeah. <laughs> if they do i will <laughs> Have I heard anything from Tesla about why they made that ridiculous dual RDA series mod? Um, they sent me an email saying, um, do I have Skype or uh, WhatsApp and um, you know, what's my email address? But they emailed that to me via my contact form on the website. So, you know, um, I replied to that one and I haven't heard anything back. So God knows, no idea. Um, I've, you know, I tried contacting them at the time, as I mentioned in the article on the website, um, I tried contacting them and to, to talk it through then and, uh, didn't get what I would consider a sufficiently knowledgeable response. And so, uh, yeah, everything that I've got to say on it at this current moment in time is on that website. If there is any further contact with them, if I hear any more, if they tell me that they've pulled it or whatever else, or even if they've, they've stopped it in its current form. 
they take it away and then they say okay right we'll rebrand it we'll say that we're going to go down to the minimum resistance on a single uh, on a single atomizer is 0.4 maybe even 0.35 um on a dual would be 0.7 per 0.8 um then uh, then you know then i would be more prepared to look at it however in its current form absolutely not and uh, we may get something we may not but who knows i'm just one reviewer we'll see what the rest of the reviewer world says about it um brian etris says bye dean thanks for the live feed got to uh got to uh, bye bye <laughs> uh what else have we got have i ever used endless no i haven't um see you later liam thank you very much for joining us poh foos gold lovely um hate it never tried what i can't make my mind up i really like it i really like the thickness to it but it's not an all-day vape for me um there we go there we go uh liam says also i don't think i would get more subscribers than you when i start for a new channel well you never know i didn't expect to be you know chomping on mr todd's heels <laughs> It didn't. I think we're over 46,000 strong now, which is mental. <laughs> right. Good. I think then, ladies and gentlemen, we've done nearly a two hour vlog, which is just obscene. And I'm sure people aren't going to watch the full thing on playback. Um, so I should really figure out how to uh, I should really figure out how to uh, get my chat on screen as well. But I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't do me. It doesn't doesn't he doesn't do my channel any favors when I have kind of only a small portion of the video watched with a super long video like this. But never mind. It's all good fun, and uh, and I enjoy doing it with you guys. I enjoy having a little bit of a chat. Hopefully, I answered everybody's questions. I certainly tried. Thank you so much to everybody that uh, that did a uh, a super chat contribution to the channel. I really really do appreciate that. That uh, that helps me no end. So thank you very very much for that. Now then, last couple of questions. Um, hey, Dean, would you recommend DIY juice over pre-made? Not necessarily, but uh, it depends on your on your standpoint. If you would, then if you if that's the sort of thing you like, then go for it. I love it, but I also like some pre-made stuff as well. Um, how is the Rebel Mod doing? Still liking it? Yes, did the review after I'd used it for Young, so that tells you why. Um, uh, is my own 3D squonker still holding up? Yes, yes. It's all dirty and filthy and what have you know, but yes. Yes, that that is that's still doing a marvelous job, um, but uh, yeah, there we go. I've not I've not reprinted the door on that yet. <laughs> um, oh, you can download X Split to add chat to video. Yeah, I was using OBS and then I had some problems and I've got to get back into it to 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 figure it all out. But uh, I did a, I did a live stream on on Twitch as a tester of OBS and it worked really well. Um, and it was a better quality feed as well. So I will I will get into it. But anyway, I think that really is it now. Thank you so, so much to everybody that's stuck with it. Thank you very much to everybody that's watched. And uh, thank you so, so much to everybody that has uh, contributed in this live chat um, on this live stream. You can't do it if you're watching this on playback. So it is what it is. But thank you very much anyway. Um, I know this one was sort of sprung on you guys. So I didn't give you any warning. I'll try to do some warning next time I do a live one. And the next one, next live one really fingers crossed will be over on twitch so i will make sure that uh, i let you guys all know about that if you don't subscribe to my social media generally in the descriptions of every single video there's the links to all the social media if you do want to check it out if you don't use uh if you don't use social media and you want to see things like my instagram posts and all that sort of good stuff if you go across to vapingbiker.co.uk you can see an instagram page on there which shows you all my pretty pictures that i do try to uh, upload to make things look a little bit pretty and a little bit nice if you're not subscribed to me on instagram please go ahead and do that i'm really close to getting to 10 grand it's taken forever to get to 10,000 followers on instagram and i'd really like to do that for no other reason that it's a nice round number and if you've watched me for a while you know that i have a bit of a twitch when <laughs> when uh, i'm not at a round number <laughs> Twitter, I'm not quite so fussed about it. I just I still don't understand it. But Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook tend to be my bag these days. More stuff will be coming on to the vapingbiker.co.uk website as well. So uh, keep checking back on that one. And uh, yeah, 
that's about it. But thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you all. I can't tell you how much I enjoy doing stuff for you guys and uh, and uh, how much I enjoy kind of meeting you at events and all that sort of good stuff. So hopefully I get to meet you a lot more in the coming events in the UK. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I am going to go. I'm going to sign out on the, uh, on the old underdog setup going on here. <sighs> go out be kind to each other educate everyone as much as you can without education we're not going to have the support of the masses which we're going to need if we're ever going to overturn these crazy laws that we have in each country that we all live in uh but thank you very much and i'll see you very uh, very soon have it large